Welcome to this second devotion of Holy Week. Today is Tuesday, often referred to as Busy Tuesday or Teaching Tuesday. The book of Matthew records four chapters to the teachings of Christ on this one day alone. And we see in all of these teachings that Jesus is desperately trying to get people to see the light, to understand their need for a Savior to understand that Messiah has come. We also see that the Pharisees and the Sadducees are attacking Christ, that they're trying to trip him up, that they're questioning him about a number of things in order to get him to make a mistake so that they would be justified in their beliefs, their unbelief, as a matter of fact. You know, a lot of times we let unbelief, we let the opinions and the ideas of other people control us. You know, unbelief isn't the only reason that they were questioning Jesus's authority. They were also questioning his authority because they had a misplaced fear. And it wasn't a fear of God. It wasn't a fear of, of what the Lord would do. It was a fear of man instead. They had an unhealthy fear of the crowd. They had an unhealthy fear of losing their authority because Christ was teaching with spiritual authority that they never had. The question for us is, will we let unbelief? Will we let uncertainty? Will we let an unhealthy fear of man control what it is we do? Or will we submit ourselves to God and Christ daily? I would encourage you to go back and read through the different passages that Jesus spoke of today. On this very day alone are some very easily recognized quotes. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The question of what is the greatest commandment. The parable of the two sons. The parable of the wedding feast. The prediction of the destruction of the temple. The uh, talk about the signs of the times, the Olivet Discourse, the parable of the talents. There's also the seven woes to the scribes of Pharisees. You'll recognize that here is where Jesus called them whitewashed tombs. That he calls out their overly religious hypocrisy. And then he begins to teach about what they should do instead. He says, for I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked. You clothed me. I was sick. You visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. And the disciples at one point they asked, they said, Lord, when were you any of these things? When did we do any of this too? And he said, truly, I say to you, as you did to the least of these, you did unto me. I would pray that each of us would take a moment, reread through these passages, and let's all strive to seek a true understanding of what Christ would have us to do. Join me as we pray. Lord, thank you for this time that you've given to us. Thank you for the opportunity to open your word and to continue to learn about who you are. Lord, thank you that you don't leave us in the dark but you have revealed yourself to us and your will through the Bible. Lord, you've promised us in James that we only have to ask for wisdom to receive it. And Lord, I pray that as we study your words today, Teaching Tuesday, that you would continue to reveal to us what we need to know. And Lord, change our hearts so that we would continue to do your will and your work in your way. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and it's in your precious name we pray. Amen.